Hey, welcome back. This is the last part of this video tutorial series. In this part, we're basically going to put the cherry on the, on the top of this program, uh, the script. Basically, we're going to label, make it all nice. So, the next thing that I would like to do is um, I want to define, whoops, not there, here. Let's go ahead and define a string for our label, for title. My string equals to fmax. So we're going to label this as fmax and concatenate, convert number to string using to string function, fmax variable, and the output form we want traditional. And then next to it, uh, we want to display the the R value. So convert R to a string traditional form. And let's go ahead and put a tab here. So it's kind of like C, where you, you can actually put like new line and all that stuff. For the purpose of, um, for interest of time, I'm just going to copy and paste my previous code uh, script so that'll be easier or a lot faster. So the next line for our string, so the, in the variable string, we're going to use the new line, um, new line. And then we can define uh, the natural frequency as, and then convert natural frequency variable to string in traditional form. And then also display the L value, the inductance. The, the last line we need to add is the, this one. This is the Q value, the quality factor, and also display the capacitance value here. So that that's our title that we're going to display on top of the plot. So we'll go down here and I'll lock plot and add more option here. Just below the plot range. So plot label style My string that we defined earlier, text alignment left. And then we're going to define the axis label. X axis being frequency in hertz and Y amplitude. And then we're going to put a grid line on, grid lines, auto, and that's it for our function. And all I have to do is shift enter. Let me zoom out a little bit. So here we change our R, increase damping. And you notice that once you go below um, 1 over square root of 2, as the Q, Q equals 1 over square root of 2, which is around 0 0.7071, uh, you have a, an error indicator to say, like, uh, you know, there's no, no more peaking. So there's no, no, no such thing as F max. So that's an imaginary part. That's why it's, you see this pinkish color indicating as an error. But it still works. Just don't just ignore this part when it's red, when it's pink. So less damping, more peaking. Quality factor is 10, so our M2 is 10 at the F max. And you notice uh, as Q increases, uh, all the frequency converges to the a single 
uh, frequency, which is the natural frequency, which is interesting. All right. Increase damping, the maximum frequency, uh, I mean, the frequency F max, the frequency of which you have uh, maximum peaking is different from the pole frequency and also different from the natural frequency. The one thing we have in display here is actually the FP. Uh, we can always add that at our discretion. But um, I don't think that's, unless you want to, I mean, you can try it out as an, as an exercise. But I think that's, that's good for now, for this uh, tutorial. Hopefully, uh, this tutorial helps you get going to uh, analyze any circuit you want and use this manipulate command from Mathematica that I think is really cool to analyze any circuits you want. And it's a lot, uh, I mean, it's, I think it's a lot easier to learn than MATLAB, but, you know, MATLAB has its own strength, so you got nothing against it, really. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this video uh, on whether I should, you know, make this video shorter or the, the length is so good. Like, some of these things take some time to type out and then talk about it. So, yeah, I'll end this video for now. Uh, thanks for watching again. See you next time.